The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. Eleven o'clock. Good morning, everybody. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. Um, we have a. Uh, I think we're going to have a, a, a great talk this afternoon. Um, We'll jump right in here. Um, we do have quorum, so th again, thanks for everybody coming out. This allows us to do the business that we need to do today. Um, and I do want to welcome, we have uh, at least a minute ago, we had 10 guests this morning. So uh, thanks to all of you that have come to check out the Dallas Genealogical Society. We'll talk a little bit about what we do throughout the, the next few minutes, the business portion of the meeting. Um, but if you have questions or, or want to talk to, to somebody about the society, you know, look for somebody with uh, one of these wooden badges or maybe somebody with a blue shirt. We'd love to chat. So welcome. <laughs> All right. So the previous meeting minutes, they are available on the website. Um, they're posted on the, the door as well. Are there any uh, questions, comments, corrections? All right, hearing none, we will consider those approved. Okay, I'm going to, our treasurer was stuck in a little bit of traffic. Um, so I think I'm going to just, he should be here in just a minute. I'm going to move forward um, to just one other piece of business that, that we have to take care of today. Um, you know, as, as I mentioned last time, this is, the, this is a fun time of the year. This is where we start looking forward to uh, the next year of DGS. Uh, and a big part of that is thinking about the officers that we have on, uh, on the board. So um, what we're doing today is going to get some volunteers for the nominating committee. We need three folks that are non-board members. We'll have two board members that we... Uh, we vote in. We do a board meeting right after this today. Um, and again, what we're doing is we're trying to find a slate of candidates for the, the four positions posted up there. These are, um, you know, we're looking for people that are interested, qualified. You know, they, they may have some experience in these roles, um, some domain knowledge, like a treasurer, as an example. Uh, and what we do is we put together this list of candidates, um, and then we'll do, uh, we'll publish that and then we'll do an election later on this spring um, and hopefully have a, a really awesome board as we, as we roll into the next year. So the, this first step, though, is really to help uh, put together a, a small group of people. They do some, some conversations, do some brainstorming on folks that, that they think might be great for these roles. Um, I'll just mention that if you're on this committee, don't feel like you have to be one of those positions, right? We're looking for people who can uh, help find these folks. If you want to, great, but, you, but it's not a requirement. So. Um, this, is, this is sometimes the awkward pause in the meeting where I look for a few volunteers. We're really looking for, for three folks um, today. And like I said, we'll have two board members that, that join this committee and we, uh, we uh, put together a slate of candidates and, and continue on with the election a little bit later in the spring. Do we know who the two members are or is that... Your committee is going to do that at that meeting. The, the two of you, the board members. The two board members. We'll, we'll decide that right after. So we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. Yeah. Would it make a difference, Shirley? <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> All right. Can you can you state your name for the secretary? Liz Coots. K-U-T-Z. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Two more. I'm comfortable up here, by the way. So I... <laughs> Gayla Bush. Thank you, Gayla. Love seeing you here. Any other takers? One more. Okay, I feel like two is, is pretty good. That's a pretty good start. Um, 
What, what, if you have questions or you want to talk to, to one of us later, um, we, we will try to get a third to make sure that we're in compliance with our, our bylaws. We'll nominate the two, uh, <laughs> draw, draw names out of a hat. I like that idea. Um, but, uh, but thank you both very much for, for helping make sure that we continue the, the society and we have a, a strong leadership team going forward. What's that? Yeah, does this group have to meet right after this meeting? Is that what you said? No. So, so after this meeting, um, the board gets together. We do a, a monthly board meeting where we talk about business. Um, if you have a, if do you want to talk about the the responsibilities, we're happy to talk right after this meeting. Uh, but you don't have to go to the to that other meeting. I'll, be, I'll raise my hand for the nominating committee. Great. And um, what was your name? Happy Okay. Thank you. See. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. That's worthy of a round of applause, I think. All right. I'd like to invite Mr. Thornhill up. Where's Jim at? Talk a little bit about uh, seminars. Jim? Good morning, everyone. So I'll see if I how technically depth I am not very there we go um, our spring seminar coming on um, April 13th is going to be Michael Lacopo um, for those of you who are not familiar with Michael he is um, located in the Midwest he his area of expertise is German research in, in finding your Germanic um, ancestors and but he's going to talk to us about methodology so it's going to be kind of a mix a little bit of, a lot of German mixed in with how to do actually do genealogy so I think it'll be a, a very good seminar Michael's a very engaging speaker um, so I think you'll really enjoy him there I go again um, we can't do this without your help uh, we, we very much depend on on volunteers to help us um, bring these seminars to you uh, and if you do choose to volunteer to help us out you, it, you not only do you get the satisfaction of knowing you provided an excellent seminar for your fellow members you also will go into a drawing to be eligible to to have a free admission to the seminar of your choice um, so you get that and you don't have to miss any of the sessions I mean you can just stay here for the entire session and then slip out and go to, to whatever step you place you volunteered for so you don't miss any of the of the seminar and you get that chance of winning winning a free one in the future so we would really love for you to consider volunteering to help us out if you want to do that just go to dallasgenealogy.com our main website click on get involved and then click on volunteer sign up and there'll be a place there where you can sign up for those positions and that's all i have turn that back over to todd So registration is open now, is that right? Yes. And when does early bird? Uh, at, or March 31st. March 31st, so, so a little bit of time. Okay, so we, we put this slide up um, just to kind of, this is one of the things that, that the society does. We have these special interest groups. Um, you can go to our website, dallasgenealogy.com, um, and you'll, you'll be able to look at our calendar of events. It has these meetings, which we do every month except during the summer. We do the seminars that, that Jim just talked about and these special interest groups. And these meet uh, at different times of the month, different, different times of the day. You can find the specifics on the website. But this is just uh, uh, the meetings we have in February. So if you're interested in one of these groups, technology or uh, DNA or African American, um, those are the dates. Check out the website and we'd love to see you there. So I think we had a couple announcements. Yep, want to come up and where's a... Come on up. Yep, no, you're, you made it up first. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Laura Hyder. I'm a member of the um, Brown Bread group that meets on the last Saturday in February. Uh, this, the first of the year, we started a new book uh, that we're re uh, reading as a group, and then we're, um, it kind of runs like a graduate seminar where you bring, you read the assigned reading, and then it's you discuss it and then we have an assignment. Our assignment 
for next month has to do with any deed that you have that in your research that you found that is before 1800. And um, how many of you have trained as a historical researcher? Can I see a show of hands? <laughs> okay. Um, now, as a genealogical researcher, we find documents. But the important thing that I have learned from this group that I've been participating in several years now is what does the document mean? So I invite you to come join us. Liz, could you stand up and wave? Liz is our teacher this session. And, <laughs> and um, you know, please come. All are welcome. Thank you. Calvin, you want to come up? I'm Kelvin Myers. I am the district rep for this area for the Texas State Genealogical Society. And I would like to invite everyone to join us June the 10th through the 14th, 2019, in Austin for the Texas Institute of Genealogical Research. It is a week-long uh, research institute learning about research in Texas. And this year, we also have Mark Lowe, who is going to be doing a session on research in the South. Will be, this will be held at the Crown Plaza in uh, Austin. Both classes will be going to the uh, State Archives and will also be making a field trip to uh, the General Land Office. There's information out in the hallway. Uh, the registration is already opened. There is early bird registration as well, and we would love to have you all be with us June the 10th through the 14th in, uh, I'm, June th yeah, 10th through the 14th in Austin. Thank you. Great, thank you very much. Okay, one more quick thing before we get into the presentation today. Um, I do wanna recognize uh, Tammy. Uh, we, we've talked about the getting involved in the society. One of the needs we had was hospitality. Um, and Tammy has graciously volunteered to be our, our director of hospitality. So I wanna thank you for that. And look forward to working with you. All right, Lisa. Oh, yes. About the state meetings, uh, are they kind of set set their calendar like Brown Bag is now the last Saturday of every month, and technology is like the second Saturday of every month. First Thursday. Huh? Technology is first Thursday. First Thursday. Thank you. Brown Bag is the fourth Saturday. A fourth Saturday. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would definitely check the website because there are changes sometimes and, and that's the, uh, um, you know, the, the best updated information we have. Okay, I, yep, I do want to make one quick step back um, and have Travis, our treasurer, do the uh, monthly report. Come on up, Travis. Good morning. The... the <clears throat> The cash report for the Dallas Genealogical Society for the calendar month of January 2019 shows total deposits of $1,973, total disbursements of $36,398 for a net decrease in cash of $34,000 four hundred twenty one dollars now I'll explain that uh, the big payment uh, there was a thirty five thousand five hundred and forty two dollar payment to pay for the scanner upstairs that has been donated by the society to the Dallas Public Library and um, <clears throat> I uh, we wrote the check uh, a couple weeks ago uh, I checked last night, and it has cleared the bank. <laughs> and um, so it is paid for. So I guess now we just need some training and, and follow up and be able to use it. But um, this was a check I was happy to write. I'm really proud that as a society we're doing this uh, for the library. It will benefit all of us and uh, the community. So. Um, Thank you very much.
Thanks, Travis. Any questions on the financial statement? All right, hearing none, we will file those for audit. All right, David, we have one more announcement. Come on up, David. Okay, um, I'm David Passman, and when time allows, I actually participate in the Brown Bag Group and the Jewish Group. Um, I haven't even, I kind of was busy with the holidays with my work, so I haven't really had a chance to catch up with the group so in the last couple of months, but I wanted to let everybody know, in case anybody's interested, uh, Father Patrick Desbois, uh, we'll be speaking at the Jewish Community Center uh, this coming Wednesday. I know it's short notice. It's the 6th. Um, the significance of Father Patrick Dubois, uh, he's a French Catholic priest who um, uh, created a group called Yahad in Unum. And what they do is they actually go into Eastern Europe and they document uh, the killing sites uh, where the Jews were killed prior to the institution of the camp system. And... Um, he wrote a book uh, called, um, uh, let me think of the first book. It was, um, I, I read the book um, again, <laughs> sorry. Um, he actually has a new book out, um, and the new book is actually called In Broad Daylight. So this is kind of his speaking tour where he's going to be actually talking about, um, the first book, I'm sorry, was called Holocaust by Bullets. Um, and then again, these were where the the, um, the Einsatz group and went into Eastern Europe, and they actually took the Jews out into the woods or the ravines, and they actually shot them. Um, and so what they've done is they've actually gone in and they've documented these killing sites. Uh, they go into the communities, and they actually speak to people who were witnesses to the killings. Uh, so they're documenting um, these, not only are they documenting the killing sites, but they're actually documenting the, the witnesses to these atrocities. Um, the second book he's come out with is actually called um, In Broad Daylight because the killings actually occurred in broad daylight. And he, again, uh, will be speaking at the Jewish Community Center on Wednesday. Um, RSVPs are required. It is a free event. Um, so anybody who has any interest in Holocaust studies, I uh, encourage you to attend this event. Thanks. I think it's about seven o'clock. So if you were, you know, if you uh, um, looked at the Jewish Community Center, their calendar of events, um, and Google or either Google Father Patrick Dudois, um, it would tell you that the time. And I think it's like seven to eight thirty or six thirty, probably about seven. Um, but again, um, this is an, a group that I've been interested in, and, and you can actually participate in Yahad and Hunum. A lot of the testimonies that they actually have have not been translated. Uh, right now, but one of the things that they have created over the last few years is, is an interactive map that actually documents all of the killing sites throughout Eastern Europe. And you would, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane, the amount of these. And a lot of these were just forgotten. And according to Jewish burial tradition is you cannot disturb a grave. So when they go in and they're doing this, they're using metal detectors to find bullet casings, uh, buttons and stuff without actually doing any sort of excavations. Yeah. Thanks, David. All right, I'd like to invite Lisa up, our Director of Education. Good morning. I'm going to introduce our speaker this morning, Ari Wilkins. She is a genealogist and library associate at the Dallas Public Library, where she provides genealogy programming and education. She worked with the esteemed genealogist, Dr. James Rose, on his project Generations, the WPA Ex-Slave Narrative Database. Ms. Wilkins has spoken nationally at the National Genealogical Society, Federation of Genealogical Societies, Roots Tech, Texas State Genealogical Society, Ohio Genealogical Society, the Institute of Genealogical and Historical Research, American Library Association, and a multitude of local societies. Ari has concentrated her interest in North Carolina and Louisiana research and specializes in African American genealogy and research. If you could help me welcome Ari. This has been a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are supporting this and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, I hope you consider joining. You can become a member for as little as $35 a year, and you can join by going to our website, dallasgenealogy.org, and clicking on the Membership tab.